All right, so here we are with my catch of the day. What's up? I'm Michael, the Shy City Yacker, and uh, we're on Lake Michigan. We started our troll at 4 a.m. in the dark, and the sun is just now coming up, targeting some of these late uh, summer, early, early fall king salmon. And as you see here, fish on. Now, I can tell you that this is my first season fishing for salmon of any kind from a kayak, and I have to tell you that after this experience, it's, I'm, I'm hooked. That's it, and I think you'll see why. Uh, by the time this video is all done with. Now, some things I do want to point out, if you're going out in big water offshore on Lake Michigan or any body of water, make sure you go in a group, man. Um, I have two of my buddies out in their kayaks, as you see out there in the distance. For their, they're there not only for the camaraderie um, and enjoying the trip, but for safety reasons. We got each other's back, and I highly suggest you do the same thing as well. Now, let's get into some of the fishing specifics here. Um, surface temp was... 51 degrees the water had washed over so it was cold throughout the water column um if you go down to chicago we were actually out of waukegan harbor but if you go down to the chicago stretch of lake michigan even into northwest indiana the water temps were up in the 70s so we figured that these fish might be a lot closer to uh shore which some were some were still deep actually the thermal climb was non-existent so it was a little more difficult to hone in on a certain depth for these fish because they were all over the place uh, right now, at this point, when I hooked up to this fish, I was about two miles out, uh, two miles out and fishing in about 55 feet of water, and I had to spoon down about 40 feet uh, when this king uh, took it. Now, I'm pulling out my rig right here. For those of you wondering what it is, it's a torpedo diver. Uh, big shouts to my man Rob at LakeMichiganAngler.com. Uh, he's a Great guy, knows his water, uh, Lake Michigan and salmon, the best of anyone, if not the best. Um, and he got me rigged up right. And uh, since I've been using this rig, it's absolutely one of the best ways to troll from a kayak. And it's not just for salmon fishing. They have smaller sizes, so you can check out. Uh, so you can get in some walleye uh, trolling and, and some other species as well, different diver sizes. Um, and so I'm getting closer to bringing this bad boy in, making a dive. Almost got rigged into my other line that's in the water that I just didn't have time to reel in. And he's about to break surface in a second. I thought he was about to jump. You see under there, at the, at the uh, bow, off the bow, he's at the surface. Glad he didn't jump because, you know, there's always that risk that he can spit the hook when he jumps. But he's asking me what I'm hooked into. On Lake Michigan, you know, we were targeting kings, but you just never know. Could have been a big coho, could have been a laker, uh, could have been a steelhead. Uh, but this one actually is my first king, and it's also the first time I'm using these new Wasp TAC cams. I put the GoPros away. I wanted to give these new cameras a shot. They're fairly new to the market. They're not in a lot of U.S. retailer spots just yet, so when I reached out to Wasp Cam, my man Chris hit me back and was kind enough to rig me out with them, sent me a set directly from their uh, uh, location out in Canada. So thank you, Chris. As you can see here, the, the video quality is great. So I'll be doing a full review of the uh, Wasp TAC Cam soon, and you'll see the uh, link in the description below once that's ready for you to check out. Getting close, man. My buddies are getting in closer. They're, they're asking me if I needed any help, but I, I figured at this point, I think I got it all under control. You know, it, it always happens that it's always the last couple of seconds before you land the fish that you could lose it. So I'm um, lining everything up. I got the net ready. I think I could do it by myself. They're off in the distance, ready to come in if I need any uh, any help. But we're almost there, man. Home stretch. And considering that the weekend before I made my uh, maiden voyage on this 2015 Hobie Outback I just picked up, added to my armada of uh, kayaks, I fell out and it capsized on me. It was a horrible experience. But this is like redemption here. There it is. As you can hear, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> first king salmon out of a kayak i have to tell you man it's it's something you all have to try if you have the opportunity to my buddy uh gary uh came on over to give me an assist as we uh get a weight on this uh king salmon it came in at uh, just under 10 pounds beautiful beautiful fish and uh we kept on going for the rest of the day it was the only king of the day but uh, I got to tell you, man, it was a lot of fun. And if you have the chance to do it, do it. And uh, that's about it, man. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll talk soon.